Hi, I'm Jamie, and welcome to New Home Lifestyles, showcasing the best in new home design from around the country. Today, we're with E.G. Stoltzfus Homes in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, in the Lands Farm community. We'll be taking a look at the Brentwood model. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lachance, new home sales specialist with E.G. Stoltzfus Homes. Today, we're in our Landis Farm neighborhood located in East Hempfield, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We're going to be taking a tour through our Brentwood model home. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the sales center for our Landis Farm neighborhood. This space would normally be the garage of the home. So one day when we go to sell this model, it will once again become a garage. All garages at Landis Farm are gonna be front entry off of the road. So let's talk a little bit about the location of Landis Farm to begin with. We have kind of a neat aerial map here that shows um, Landis Farm uh, in regards to some of the local attractions. Hershey Park City Center, which is going to be your closest mall. Spooky Nook Sports Complex, which is the gym. Uh, golf courses, and then you have a variety of uh, shopping centers and grocery stores to choose from in this particular location as well. The nice thing about Lancaster County is that you're only about an hour and a half away from Baltimore, from uh, Philadelphia, within an hour of Harrisburg, and uh, about three hours from New York City as well. Uh, Landis Farm, we're going, to be, we're going to have a total of 149 homes in this neighborhood when we're done building, 99 single family homes, and 50 carriage homes. The carriage home product is sold out, but we do still have single family home lots in phase three and phase two, and very shortly we will be opening up uh, some more lots in phase four as well. Phase four will be the completion of the neighborhood. Generally, uh, home site sizes at Landis Farm are about a quarter of an acre. There is an HOA fee for the neighborhood. It maintains all of the common elements and community amenities, and I will walk through some of those a little bit later on as well. The HOA fee is $90 a quarter. So this would be generally where your driveway would be. We do include a basic landscaping package for the front yard uh, around the front walkway. You'll have a front walkway from the driveway to the front porch. Every home also includes a lamp post out front and you will have a mailbox along the street. So no like giant metal post office box, which is nice. You get your own individual uh, cute little mailbox. We'll head on in the front door here. All of the front porches at Landis Farm are gonna be covered and they do include a recessed light. Come on. This Brentwood model has the three-quarter glass front door and it also includes the two glass side lights next to it. When you enter this model, you come into like an entryway vestibule instead of having the staircase right in front of you. This is our best-selling model at Landis Farm. Uh, you get kind of an extra room on the main floor. You've got the flex room to the right here and then your formal dining room to the left. Let's head on over this way into the flex room to begin with. This room would include your fan roughen in the ceiling for future light or fan. And then we've done some optional um, touches in here, including the wainscoting detail on the wall. Generally, this would be a 10 foot uh, cased opening between the flex room and the family room. But we did something a little special here that we'll see on the other side of the wall when we get there. As you come into the main living part of the Brentwood model, it is all open between the family room, breakfast, kitchen. In this home, we've done the 
um, sliding barn door detail. We've also added the fireplace and the two built-ins on either side of the fireplace. And since we are on a lot here that overlooks some of our meadow common space for the neighborhood, we opted to put in the uh, picture frame window versus having just two kind of normal windows on that wall for more natural light and to take advantage of that more private view out the backyard. We've also added some outdoor living space out back here, uh, a paver patio, including fire pit. And there you can really see the open space back there. That's all just meadow area that the HOA would maintain. We get some good use out of that patio. We do like a s'mores event in the fall. So it's pretty fun to have all the neighbors come and gather and kind of just hang out and utilize this space a little differently than just a show home. In this Brentwood model, this Cabinetry along the dining room wall is an optional kitchen extension. However, the rest of the kitchen would start in that corner and extend over to this corner. So it is a fairly large kitchen layout. It would include the island. Uh, you've also got the overhang here for island seating. You could put a couple stools there. Recessed lighting all comes included in the kitchen. We've done some optional pendant lights for this space. We've done the uh, stainless steel appliances and the painted cabinets as well. I'll show you a few um, neat things about the kitchen. The cabinets that we use, uh, they do include the dovetailing detail on the drawer. The drawer boxes are made out of real wood. And they also include the soft close feature. Granite countertops come included, although this here is an optional quartzite selection. With the granite countertops, we would also include a subway tile backsplash. You have uh, three sink styles to choose from in the kitchen. The 60-40, 50-50, or the one large uh, stainless steel bowl sink. And the tilt tray also comes included. This uh, Moen faucet would be the included uh, style. It's got the kind of gooseneck feature. And then we also include a Lazy Susan in the corner base. Gas or electric, no additional charge for gas on the range. Let's take a peek back here at the pantry, laundry room, powder room area. Nice big walk-in pantry. And a powder room off of the kitchen. And then to the right here is the laundry room as well washer dryer hookups, and then we've done an optional uh, laundry tub for this space. Great, let's take a peek at the uh, formal dining room real quick, and then we'll head upstairs and look at the bedrooms. All the formal dining rooms at Landis Farm will include the chair rail and the crown mold. In this space, we did do some additional wainscoting detail. We've also done the nine foot ceiling height for this home, although they would come included as eight feet. The nine foot ceiling height is a fairly popular thing to do since it's something you generally can't change in the future. All right, let's head on upstairs and take a peek at the bedrooms. Yeah. 
And when we get to the top here, if we hang a left, we'll head to the master bedroom. Nice and spacious. We've done the optional cathedral ceiling in here, along with some detail wainscoting on the wall as well. The fan ruffin would also come included for this space, and that would be for future fan or uh, ceiling light fixture. We'll take a quick peek at the uh, walk-in closet for this bedroom. It's pretty nice. Two-part walk-in closet, his and her side. All the white wire shelving that you see here comes included. And then another kind of nifty feature about some of our floor plans that burnt wood included is this bonus attic storage space. So the old kind of pull down and climb up attic systems are a thing of the past with our floor plans because now you just have this additional uh, space that can be used for storage. Potentially even finished out in the future as a little hideaway. And finally, let's um, take a peek at the master bathroom on this floor plan. dual vanity for this bath and then we have done the Carrera marble countertops along with the Carrera marble tile in the shower this shower also has the half glass wall panel it's got the seat and the tiled niche for storage the hand shower on the wall and then the additional rain shower head coming out of the ceiling. So lots of little details to kind of pull this um, whole package together. And then a small linen closet around the corner here for even more bathroom storage besides the vanities. Alrighty, let's take a peek at some of the uh, spare bedrooms on this plan. So as we head out into the hallway, the first one that we're going to see is on our left. That is the smaller guest bedroom. Double door closet in there. White wire shelving comes included. Again, we've added the uh, fan ruffin for this space for future fan or light fixture. And then we have the remaining two bedrooms set up as our girls and boys rooms. Um, in the hallway here, a small linen closet as well for all the additional bedroom storage. Let's head back here to the boys bedroom first. Both have walk-in closets. We've done some paint accents as well as wainscoting detail for this room. Here's the walk-in closet. And we'll take a look lastly at the girls' bedroom. You'll see why I call it the girls' bedroom in a second here. We've done the cute little polka dot wallpaper. Some wainscoting detail on the walls and added this third window to the side wall of the home. And just like the boys' bedroom, it's got a nice big walk-in closet. Then our final room is going to be the hall bath.
dual vanity in here along with a linen closet for storage. The framed bath mirrors come included and then these uh, Moen Brantford faucets would also come included along with all of your plumbing accessories, towel rings, towel bar, paper holder. These cute little windows on the front of the home. And then this would be the included uh, fiberglass tub shower for the family bath. And on our way out here, I'll quickly show you the linen closet for this bathroom as well. Let's take a quick peek at the basement just while we're here. Um, there's a few things to point out down there. Take another trip down the stairs. These stairs, uh, the way that they turn around on themselves, we call that a switchback staircase. We do the open railing here to kind of keep it nice and open um, as you look down from the second floor landing down to the first floor. So we use Superior Wall Basement Foundation System. They have a higher R value, which is a measure of insulation, than poured concrete. They come ready to be finished on the perimeter, pre-drilled for all electrical wiring. Drywall would just go right on top of those um, metal plates right there. Those would serve as your studs. This basement does have an optional 9-foot uh, basement height. Normally it would be 8-foot. We can do that on any lot except a walkout or daylight basement. Every basement will include your egress window. That would be like your emergency escape route. And then we've added some optional transom windows on the wall over there. And another optional feature we've done on this particular home is the Bilco style door. So when you're on a standard basement site or a non-walkout basement, we can add this. Um, it gives you a direct route from the main kind of uh, outdoor living area to the basement. If you do have a switchback staircase in the floor plan, this is sometimes popular in case you want to finish the basement in the future. It's good for getting good uh, large pieces of furniture down into this space from um, the top floor. And we have a natural gas water heater. Natural gas comes included. And we also have, obviously, the uh, central heating and cooling, which is also natural gas. We use um, Carrier for the brand down here. Let's head on upstairs and I figure while we're at it, I can show you a couple of our neighborhood amenities. Let's head back out um, through the sales office and then we'll take a quick walk through the neighborhood and I'll point out some of the things um, that make Landis Farm a special place to live. So from our model home parking lot, 
We've got plenty of parking. This will actually be a home site one day when we're done building in the neighborhood. You can see over here phase four, which is currently in development. Those are going to be all single family homes. And we'll take a quick walk actually over here to the neighborhood pavilion because it's kind of a nice special place uh, where you can sit and hang out. If you need to take a break on your walk, you can just stop there to cool down. Uh, people are generally gathering there and hanging out in the neighborhood. Um, we also have a walking trail that begins at the pavilion. Throughout Landis Farm, we have these um, street lamps as well, as well as the lamp posts in the front yard of all the homes. So specifically where we're located in Landisville is uh, at the corner of Nisley Road and Bowman Road. Uh, so the streets that um, we're currently building on we finished out Bloomfield Way. Those were our carriage home products. They were semi-detached, uh, first floor masters, two and three bedroom plans. Uh, we are currently building on Windermere Lane. That's kind of in the uh, back section of the neighborhood here. The uh, walking trail uh, circles back on itself back there. And that's also where that conservation space is at. We left a lot of uh, mature trees in that area of the neighborhood that were here from the original farm property. We've done some nice landscaping here in the common space. This is what the HOA fee would go to maintain. We're here kind of at the right time of year too because everything's blooming and looks so beautiful. Lots of benches and trash cans throughout. And then something really cool and special that our neighbors have done is created a free public library. They just installed a second library. So I believe this one here is the kids library. And then they have the adult public library on the right hand side. Last year we did a movie night on the green on this big open meadow area in about fall. We hosted that event. We had a little popcorn machine out here underneath of the pavilion. So the neighbors stay very active and uh, there's always something to do at Landis Farm. So that's pretty much a good rundown of the neighborhood and some of the amenities, some of the homes that we offer here uh, by E.G. Stoltzfus. If you'd like to learn more or to schedule an appointment to see the model home in person, uh, please reach out either via our website at egstoltzfushomes.com or you can contact our online sales counselor directly. Her name is Leslie Reinier and she can be reached at 717-537-6968. That's 717-537-6968. Um, you can also submit an online inquiry through a uh, new home source uh, or just directly through our website. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. It was a pleasure taking you through and sharing more with you about our neighborhood and the homes that we're building here at Landis Farm. Bye now. To hear more about this community, click the link in the description and stay tuned for more new home showcases.